Hello guys, it's me, Sarn Versar, and today I'm going to do a showcase video on this website that allows you to make Minecraft skins. So, the website's called Miners Need Cool Shoes, but uh, what you type in here in your search bar is www.minersshoes.com, and it pops out this website. Um, many people use this website to edit their skins. Like, one of the better ways to edit your skins, because one, you can see your skin that you're editing. Say, so, um, I wanted to, uh, yeah, just wait. You see that? It updates it automatically, and you can see how your skin's turning out. So you don't have to keep changing your skin and stuff like that in order to see what your skin is looking like. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of helpful. And, um, <clears throat> also, r right down here, there's like a nice color palette that you have here. Not the best, I mean, in terms of like mixing colors and stuff like that, but it's quite good. What you do is, you take your cursor, you uh, click and hold this uh, um, black box, and then you just pretty much drag it to where you want uh, to drag it to what color you want it to be, pretty much, and it allows you just you know for easy like color change. So, so if you wanted this green and you wanted it darker, just drag it down to the darker section right down here. Um, one drawback of this is like you can't really you can't really have like a like you can't really mix colors. So say you wanted like a really dark green, and then you were in then you wanted to mix it with a a gray. You can't really do that here. Like this um like what you can do is you can open up an editor and uh, you can open up a separate photo editor that's more enhanced with the coloring and then you can you know mix and match colors and stuff like that but um, anyways about this website um, it's really cool also which like you you're not limited to like editing it you can also browse for uh, you can browse for other skins um, armory which allows you to like mix and match stuff from different skins but um, yeah but this is just you know like I I only use this for making skins. I don't really like taking skins from here. I would rather use skin decks. Um, but this is just more for editing. I would uh, I would believe so. Um, yeah, there's like a much better variety of it in skin decks. So I just suggest using skin decks rather than this. But whatever, we're reviewing the site, so yeah. Um, yeah, so another, yet another feature of it is, uh, see this bar up here? You can select colors that you've already used. So say you're done using this color. You can now select that color and then use that color. <laughs> that was a lot of that colors. Okay, whatever. So, um, and also down here, you see this, uh, dropper thingy here? I don't know what you would call this. Like you use this for, like, medicine and stuff like that, but whatever. So, this all these this allows you to like select colors. So say um, you wanted this color, you wanted uh, blue. You just click on the, you just click on the blue, and boom, adds it to your uh, little hot bar up here. You can now color with it. And um, also, yet another feature is up here. Uh, you, you see this little um, broom here with the different colors. If you click on that, it pretty much randomizes your color. So what it does, it like, makes like different hues of your color, so this is great for like randomizing. You can't really see it there. Let me select that great. Okay, good. So now, um, yeah. So right here, if you do that, see, it's like not just that color. It's like different hues of it. So that's really cool for if you wanted to add like random colors, you know, kind of like that to make it a bit more natural. I would assume, but um, yeah, that's also good for skin tones because. Um, skin tones are kind of limited because, like, right here is like the perfect skin tone. You can't really drag it down and go darker. Your skin, your, your the skin tone would become, you know, uh, like reddish and or it's, it's not, not good. So, like, like I said earlier, this tool allows you to like have different hues of it. So if you drag it like that, you can now have a darker version of that. So you can add some shading and stuff like that. It's it's a really useful tool. Um, not many people know about that, I would assume. <coughs> um, but, yeah, because I just learned that, uh, quite recently, actually. But anyways, and also down here, we have, uh, enter Minecraft username and edit that skin on this, uh, 
search bar here, you just type in any YouTubers or whatever, like your friend's username or whatever, and then um, enter, and then it like pops out their skin. So yeah, it's really awesome. So say you wanted Notch, just type in Notch, click enter, wait for it to load. Okay, okay, yeah, there you go, good. So, um, yeah, so it loads. Now there's Minecraft. Uh, uh now there's Notch. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, now there's Notch. Um, mm, I don't know about that shenanigans, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I guess that's Notch's skin. I don't know why he has a huge black box over his head. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, that's, um... That's one really cool feature of it. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for this website. Um, it's pretty much mostly for editing skins. Like I said earlier, you can browse and mix, mix match skins, stuff like that. But, yeah, it's kind of straightforward. And it's a really great, um, it's a really great website to edit your skins, kind of like really quick. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is Arnold Bricks, that one, signing out YouTube.